Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, a short uh, public service announcement in reality. I just wanted to make you aware of an issue that's been surfacing, um, as you're going to see on my article here, where some of the most recent updates to MS-365 seem to be causing some pains. Uh, what pains exactly? As you can see by the heading, um, access isn't closing properly. So you're ending up with um, hanging MS access EXE processes left running in the background. And then this causes problems for various actions. And um, we've seen this before. This is nothing new. So, you know, obviously this is a new bug, but we've seen this multiple times in past history with various updates, breaking things. So most people, most developers are familiar of what you need to do. You can just go into your task manager, find the Microsoft Access EXE and kill it. Um, you can use uh, code. You can actually automate this as well. So if you check my website, you will see that I have an article that uh, goes over this and a YouTube video, if you prefer, um, giving you different approaches that you can use for doing this. Um, so you could easily automate killing the process uh, using whether it be VB script, whether it be whatever you choose, however you choose to approach it. But you could even uh, do some type of check and you know, basically automate killing the process. Obviously, Killing a process is never something we want to do, but when you're faced with a bug like this, you have no choice. There is no other alternative. So um, if you check the article, I have links to a bunch of threads on the subject. Feel free to go through them, see a little bit what other people are um, saying, what they're encountering as issues. You'll see there's a whole slew of different error messages being reported, and some which are a little curious, weird, um, out of the norm, I'd say. Um, so sometimes not things you'd expect symptomatic of this issue, and yet people are saying that's what they're getting. So uh, you can go through, you'll see they report some of them, build numbers, versions uh, that they experience it on, etc., etc., etc. I've tried to put here what I could quickly find going through various threads. Most people are reporting that this is happening on version 2408-2409 specifically these three builds in particular. Um, but that isn't to say it doesn't happen on other versions or builds. I have just, this is what I've managed to pull out of the slew of uh, posts. Your only solution currently is because we're all waiting on Microsoft to do something, say something, because there is nothing. Um, there's nothing on their fix it page. There's nothing anywhere. Um, so we're all waiting for Microsoft to do some form of a public response. It would be nice. Um, but in the meantime, your solution is actually a workaround because there is no fix. And that is to roll back your Microsoft Office installation. How do you do that? Well, you're lucky enough. I have a video. I have an article that goes over it. If we go and open this very briefly, I'll just very briefly highlight what it is. But basically, you start the Windows command prompt. You uh, shuffle over, you do a change a directory, and you go find your folder that has your click to run folder. And from there, you simply run a line like this. So you tell this exe to update the user. And here you have to specify the build number you want to go to. So this reverts backwards, but it also, if you needed to, would allow you to update ahead if you were ever in that need. So this is a two-way command, just putting it out there. But today we'd be using this to roll back. And then of course, once you do this, you have to disable automatic updating, or you're going to be brought right back to the build that was problematic in the first place. Obviously, if you're in a corporate environment where all this is controlled by IT and you can't do this, you have to approach IT and ask them to do what is necessary to bring you backwards in time. Um, I put here, you know, what build do I need to roll back to? From what I could find, uh, and don't hold me to this, but from what I could find, depending on what update channel you're on, these would be the corresponding builds that do not have the issue. Um, but this could also be inaccurate and you may need to roll back even further. So it's a bit of a trial and error. And just to mention, if ever you wanted to take a look at it, it's very simple. Microsoft has several pages, depending on, you know, are you 
on the current build, the monthly build, the semi-annual, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go look at the update history, but you can look here and you'll see the current channel was updated to 2408, which is a problematic build, the 114 problematic build. So you can come here, look at the current channel and you'll see August 26th that went out. So you may want to try rolling back all well, the 27 07 you could try or if you find that still isn't working you could roll back to this build uh, and then roll back to this build so nothing stops you from trying multiple builds until you find the one where the issue no longer occurs but that literally is it just don't forget to disable automatic updating or it's just gonna automatically reboot upgrade you to the latest build for your channel and then you're faced with the same problem and you got to go through the reverting process all over again um yeah so that's about all we know at this time no one knows the root cause besides the update causing it um and we're all waiting to see what microsoft is going to say and especially when are they going to put out an actual fix to this issue um so that's it guys just be aware if you're seeing access not closing properly staying in your task manager um you don't have a choice you have to kill it either through the task manager or using some form of automation. And the solution currently is simply to roll back to a prior build while we wait for Microsoft to fix the situation properly. And when they do, then you can re return to using automatic updates again and leap forward to whatever the current build will be at that point in time with the fix implemented. And that's it. That's going to do it for this video. Just wanted everyone to be aware you're not losing your mind if you see msaccess.exe running in the background and not closing properly. There is a problem currently and hopefully we'll see a fix sooner than later. Anyway, thank you for listening to me talk and ramble on about this bug and we'll see you in the next one. If you don't mind, please like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.